Yes, yes, people. Matthew GS here. Hope everyone's doing well. It's absolutely gorgeous day in the UK today. We've had nearly 30 degrees of heat and it's going to be 30 degrees tomorrow. Summer is well and truly here. Everyone's in a good mood. Everyone's out and about. And it's 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 great. I just I just love summer. This is what I live for. But I just took some time out of my busy schedule to do this first ever review for books, right? I've been meaning to do this review um, video, sorry, for a very, very long time and I've managed to find some time. So let's dive straight into it. From previous videos, I think I've mentioned that I read books and I read books pretty much every single day. As soon as I finish one book, I'm onto a new one. I'm always buying new books. And I just wanted to give you some tips and advice, whether you take them or not, it's, it's up to you. But this is how I managed to absorb so much information from the books and get so many results from them. So the very first thing to do when you buy books, well, what I do anyway, is I never really buy brand new books. I always look to save money. So I'm always buying used books. Nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, the book is actually in very, very good condition. There's no writings, no ink in the books or anything like that. All the pages are intact. So you can save a lot of money by doing this. If I really can't find a, a used book, I will buy a brand new book, but that's very, very rare. In those cases, I would just wait and hold out until a used book has become available. So that's first number tip. First tip. Second tip, when you get the book, is read it from start to finish and don't take any notes down whatsoever, right? Then say in a month's time or straight away, read the book again, but this time start underlining uh, key points from the book. I don't use a pen. Personally, I use a pencil. Um, just a personal preference, like with the ink, I find that if you did write ink, sometimes you can go through to the other page and I just think it looks tacky and messy and people like you do colours on this stuff and I'm not one of those people. I just underline everything in pencil and then if you read the book again, it still looks good and you just got your key points that you've underlined. Okay, so that's the second tip. Third tip is to find out if the book is online as a PDF. I think there's a website called pdfdrive.net. I will leave some links again. It's been a while since I've been on that website. So if you go to that website, you can find the book that you just bought, get the PDF version. I mean, if you really wanted to save loads of money, you don't even really have to go and buy these books. I prefer hard copy, but it's always good to have electronic copy as a backup. And if you're on your phone, or if you're on your laptop, you can just read it on your laptop there. So that's another tip. The next tip is to go and find the book as an audio book. So if you go to YouTube, type in the book name and then audio book. If you just type the book name, it should just come up straight away with the audio book version. And then you can download the audio book. And I have done videos on this in the past of how to do conversions. I will leave some links up for you and how to do this. So then that's the next stage. You get the audio book and then from the audio book, you can listen to it on your phone or in the car. And guys, this is how you reach the unconscious competence stage. It's the fourth, the fourth stage of learning. It's the last stage where all this stuff is in your subconscious mind and you're doing this kind of stuff without thinking about it so that's another tip for you and the next tip is to start applying what you've learned from the books so everything that you've underlined or you've taken notes down start putting those notes in your phone on the notepad or whatever and start applying them immediately right because otherwise you're just reading books for knowledge and it's just going to stay in there and not do anything. That's the next stage for me, right? I'm going to think of some bonus tips as well for the books, but those are the main ones. The This is my first book review. Is the It's called The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Swartz, right? This is one of the covers here. There's a slightly different 
covers, but this book was highly recommended by Kevin Trudeau. Kevin Trudeau, you wish your your wishes your command audiobook is one of the best audiobooks you can ever, ever listen to, and he recommends loads of books. And one of the books he recommends is first or second choice is actually this big uh, book. Sorry, I bought this book and I read it, and it is an amazing, amazing book. So I started to apply the concepts in this book straight away, and no joke. I my career has taken off. I'm earning more money. I'm much more confident. Like it's I can't begin to explain su- in such a short amount of time what has changed in my life just by reading this book. So I wanted to do the first book review for the magic of thinking big. It helps you how to get higher income, financial security, power and influence. Uh, there's there's so much in this book and I wanted to give you one small tip from the book and one of the things if I'm just thinking back now there was like 10 people right 10 friends and all of them were making like really really good money but one one friend wasn't making the kind of money that everyone else is making and when he thought about it or when he put everyone together He tried to find out what is different between his friends and him. And he was saying basically, you know, they're the same IQ, the same friends, the same qualifications. But why were they earning a lot more money than himself? And the reason why was because they just fought much bigger than he did. He had a he had a small mind, whereas the other ones had like a a bigger mind and they see bigger visions and stuff like that and as soon as he changed his his vision and then that approach everything changed for him so you could be living in fear so to speak and and not thinking big and therefore because you're thinking small you're not getting the results that everyone else is getting so it's it's all mainly to change it's changing the way you think about things right and like i said this book is amazing now I've actually bought another one of these books because this first book review, I wanted to give a book giveaway. So the first person that comments magic on the comment section will get a free free copy of this book. Just have to type in magic in the comment section and this book is yours. The winner, I yeah, first one that says it basically, if you just message me private message me i'll be in contact with you anyway send me your address and i'll send you a copy of this book and that's it for the book reviews and my book tips if i can think of anything else i'll do another video and add it onto this one because i'm just freestyling at the moment i don't even have have any notes like most of my videos or i say nine times out of ten of my my youtube videos i just freestyle it there's no script there's no nothing uh, most of the time I don't really edit it so yeah I just I just freestyle it to be honest with you but those are the main things main tips for reading books and how I've managed to get so much results from them and this is the first one I'm gonna suggest to you to go and buy straight away or you can might win it if you just <laughs> comment the magic and I'm gonna do a lot more of these book reviews going to be a lot shorter because I won't give the tips on the next ones but I'm going to be doing a lot more book reviews and yeah so hopefully you take these books start reading them start applying them and start getting the results in your life as well and i'm only going to bring books to you that have really impacted me i won't bring you a book that's going to waste your time right so thank you very much for watching this video listening to me and i hope to see you on the next one have a blessed day bye